Today's message is addressed to the new regions. We are going to discuss with the heads of all four new subjects. Denis Vladimirovich Pushilin, head of DPR, the first word for you, a very important message, because we, as new subjects, heard a lot of messages about the residents of Donbass, the residents of Zaporizhzhia and Kherson regions. And this is directed, first of all, to what is important for us. This is peace, and the second is, of course, social and economic development. These are the prospects that are now opening up to us as new subjects. This concerns the moments that we could not dream of before. This is the development of the educational sphere. This is, of course, the social support of young families. This is an increase in birth rate. This, of course, is, in fact, the support of those multi-child families which, in principle, will be the basis of the next generations of our great Russia. This is important for us. It is also important for us, well, some moments of development, that is, the economy, on which we can now rely. This is the development and investment in our enterprises. The potential of Donbass is known, it is enormous. And, of course, with the onset of the world, we will be able to reach the level that we consider absolutely understandable for ourselves in terms of self-sufficiency and, of course, help to those regions where this is needed within the framework of Russia. Other regions, where, probably, some moments require support. We are now very grateful to all the regions that are helping us now, but for us this is an uncharacteristic state. Therefore, of course, I am sure that we will overcome this state in the shortest possible time. Thank you, Denis Vladimirovich, Leonid Pasechnik, head of LNR. What would you like to highlight from Vladimir Putin's speech today? You know, first of all, this is the first message that we receive today as a subject of the Russian Federation. This is the first and historical message. What did I highlight for myself? Well, in order not to repeat what Denis Vladimirovich said, you know, I heard that a lot of attention was paid to the youth, youth politics. I believe that youth today is our future and, in principle, the guidelines are laid out very, very correctly. Vladimir Vladimirovich set those tasks that will certainly be aimed at ensuring that residents of all of Russia, including residents of our regions, live as comfortably as possible on our territories. These are the tasks that the president sets, these are the tasks that are in front of us, and all the tasks that Vladimir Vladimirovich has set, we will definitely perform. Because we support our president, we are, of course, active participants in a special military operation, we are for peace. But with the challenges and with the difficulties that we have encountered today, we must, so to speak, fight together, oppose them together. And the unity that Vladimir Vladimirovich said today, I think, is also a very important component of today's tasks that are in front of us. Thank you very much, Vladimir Vasilievich. Vladimir Seldo, head of the Kherson region. Today, before the message, we talked with you about the social and economic bloc. But what about the part that the president said, if more long-range weapons are supplied to the UN, then, accordingly, we will also have to move forward to a greater distance and, in general, borders, special operations. For the Kherson region, this is a painful problem. This is one of the most relevant problems today. But in the president's message, I heard a lot that, in general, is related to the economy and the future, with development. And at the same time, it was a terrible warning that if our armed forces are needed, which are now actively being completed with very high-quality military equipment, they will create opportunities for the front to be moved as far as possible. But those are the moments that we hear there and in these yesterday's walks around Kiev, Mr. Biden, now they are already saying that they have begun to be afraid. They began to be afraid to develop and expand their military presence. Therefore, our hopes now, together with all the people of Zaporozhetsk, Lugansk, Donetsk, in general, with Russia, are related to the fact that in the near future the results that are set by the Supreme Commander-in-Chief to achieve the goals of the special operation will be achieved. And this is now reflected in the mood of our people. People have also stopped being afraid. They understand that what happened last year is not the 23rd year. And in the 23rd year, it is necessary to do everything in order to ensure the future for our children. This is important.
Indeed, this is important. And it says that our historical heritage, our roots that come from our ancestors, they speak only about one thing. We will never give up. We will strive for those goals that will strengthen Russia and strengthen the faith of our people. Thank you very much. And finally, Yevgeny Balitsky, the head of Zaporozhetsk region. Yevgeny Vitalyevich, what do you first of all pay attention to, the social bloc or the special military operation? Colleagues, joining in on the social bloc, of course, it is very important that we are equal among equals and the president paid great attention to this bloc. Those who are most in need today are our children, our pensioners. These are those who, regardless of the military actions that are being carried out by the Russian army today, will still receive, and even more so, those social guarantees that people need today. And, among other things, we pay great attention, we talked to Vladimir Vasilyevich about maternity capital, which today, since 2007, every woman in the Zaporozhetsk region, in particular, will receive. And there is also a very important point that I would like to say and address to all Russians who listen carefully to the speech. In the end, Russia will cease to perceive our politeness for our weakness. This is a mistake, and in their case, it is even destructive. Because today the president clearly said that if we go out of talks today on nuclear deterrence, which we will stop, in this case, this is one of the signals to the West that we will not stop, we do not need a world without Russia, and victory will be ours, our industry is ready. Today, the president emphasized this, that we are increasing the release of all the necessary ammunition, weapons, and we will stop that unfair flow from the West, the colonial West. I emphasize why colonial, because they became rich, they were created at the expense of slaves, at the expense of slave labor. Russia never had a colony, it never had a slave order. And we have always been prone to good, we have always been prone to justice, and it has always been used. But today, the president, changing course, emphasized that everything is enough. Now we will dictate the conditions in the world, and we will dictate the conditions from the position of peace, justice, people's equality, brotherhood, and based on human traditional values, which the president also said today. Thank you very much. I have nothing more to add. You are the heads of all four new Russian subjects.